everyone out there in YouTube land. So I'm the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Scents. I know I have a glare on my um, on my camera, a glare on my glasses. So today I'm going to be bringing you a short video. This is going to be the uh, Ulta Crappy Customer Care video. So this is not like a really big complaint about Ulta. I haven't, this is only my second order with Ulta. I have to say, I really don't have a problem with them so much, but I thought this was a little ridiculous. So I figured I'd share it with you just in case you guys plan on purchasing products in the future from Ulta. This might be something that you want to take note of. So I bought the uh the hemp's limited edition spun sugar and vanilla bean herbal moisturizer it's on sale still currently for 11.50 now they're also running a sale buy one get one 40 percent off um i don't think they were running that sale when i bought this but i bought it because i wanted to try it i like the packaging it was in limited edition packaging and it's 1150. So I'm going to show you what it looks like on the Ulta website. Okay. So I purchased this limited edition spun sugar and vanilla bean herbal moisturizer. And part of the reason that I got the, the uh, product is the bottle. It's the limited edition. It's in a very pretty bottle. And... I have plenty of vanilla bean scents, but I really wanted the, the limited edition bottle. Now, if you look at the, here, the secret is in the seed, spun sugar and vanilla bean limited edition enriched, enriched with 100% pure natural hemp seed oil, right? Now, in the comments, well, first of all, let me say that down here in the details, nowhere does it say that the bottle that you will receive may not necessarily look like the bottle that's on the screen. Also, you'll notice here, formulated with a touch of shimmer. That is not listed here, and there's a reason for that, and we're going to talk about that. Okay, so this is the bottle that they sent me. This is Spun Sugar and Vanilla Bean Herbal Body Moisturizer Limited Edition. Unlike the picture, this bottle says, and, you know, this is 100%. Uh, pure natural hemp seed oil and a touch of shimmer. Now, for me, it doesn't bother me that it has a touch of shimmer in it. I actually put some of it on. I don't really see the shimmer. It's not like Bath and Body Works shimmer lotion where you're glittering all over. But supposing I was a man and I bought this, would I want a touch of shimmer? The bottle that's shown on the page, even though if you read the details, it says a touch of shimmer. The bottle that's on there does not say shimmer. Okay, so I called up Ulta customer service because I wanted to find out what they would say. So they told me. Now, I'm going to explain the difference between this experience and my experience with Bath and Body Works. I'm trying to get my email up here so I could read exactly what Ulta said to me. Okay. So when I had a problem with Bath and Body Works, their shipping had declined. They had put less packing products in with their items and their items got shifted around during delivery. Uh, I called them up to tell them about that because it was atypical of their service. And I didn't want anything from them. And I also told them that one of their soaps came with the label crooked. And the woman, uh, the associate, 
sent me a new bottle of soap. I told her it was completely unnecessary, but she said that they absolutely wanted to make me happy, that they, all their products have to be perfect, and they wanted to send me a new bottle of soap with the label on the right way. When I contacted Ulta, now she just took my word for it. I told her that the label was askew, and I explained to her that it was slightly off to the left. She took me at my word. Ulta told me to send them a picture. They wanted a picture of what I received. So I sent them, I sent them a picture. So, okay. This is what they said to me. This is from Ulta Beauty Guest Services. After I spoke to them. He, I spoke to this gentleman and he said, I'm going to send you an email and you send me a picture of what we sent you. So it says, uh, you recently reached out about your order, blah, blah, blah. In order to best assist you with this issue, we need additional information. Please respond back to this email and provide us a picture of the item of the item you receive in your order. I love the grammar. If you have any other questions, you can respond directly to this email. I sent the photo and I spoke to, I was on the phone with the guy as he was looking at the photo and he's like, that is definitely different than what we, you know, said offered on our website, the picture that we showed. So I was, he's like, I'll notify the proper department of the error. Okay. So I was like, and, and that's it. Are you going to send me the right bottle? Do I get a coupon? You know, so he's like, oh, I don't know. Uh, he's like, I'll tell you what, we'll give you free shipping. Now, I'll tell you why that's, well, I know. You're going to be like, they didn't have to give you anything because technically it is the right product. Yes, I know that. But okay, so this is what they gave me. They gave me free shipping. And let me tell you why that that's not a great deal. Why I would have preferred a free mini hemp's a coupon for five dollars off or something like that okay so let me tell you why free shipping is a bogus deal with this hemp's and not hemp's alta offers free shipping at 35 dollars if you shop at alta you know you can spend 35 dollars very easily uh, it's not like one of those websites like Victoria's Secret or what is it? Not Target. Kohl's where you have to spend like $75 in order to get free shipping. So even if you were to pay for the shipping, I think it's standard $5.99. And Ulta offers a coupon of $3.50, $3.50 off a purchase of $15. You cannot combine the codes. So if I want to use the free shipping code that they sent me, I cannot use the $3.50 off of 15. So this is what they wrote back to me. They said, and pay close attention to the grammar. We sincerely apologize for the inconvenience after further review about your complaint of the item limited edition spun sugar and vanilla bean herbal moisturizer we already escalate the inconvenience to the proper department for a review and as a, an apology for the inconvenience we send you a free shipping code for your next purchase online or at the store Free shipping at the store. And it's not free shipping to the store because if you were going to pick up your order at the store, the shipping would automatically be free. So it's not that, that's not the mistake that they made. And it's just, it's just poorly written. So what I would say is, a better way is first of all here here's mm, I 
hate when my damn camera does that. So I'm going to go over the points again. Uh, one, they, they ask for proof. Um, two, they weren't forthcoming with making things right. Uh, three, it's not exactly the order that I purchased because, uh, this has shimmer in it. And if I was not a, if I was a guy, maybe I would not want shimmer. Uh, so the product is not as described on the website. Uh, they did not offer to make it right in any other way other than to offer an apology. Uh, the only reason that they offered the free shipping, which is not really a very good deal, um, is because I asked them and kind of nudged them about it. Um, by contrast, you can see that Bath & Body Works, I told them I didn't want anything, but they went out of their way to... Uh, make me be a satisfied customer. They went above and beyond. They were like, our label is a little crooked. That is unacceptable. We're going to send you a new soap. Not so with Ulta. So I just thought that was very interesting. I just started shopping at Ulta. Um, did I tell you I did use the shipping code? I did a small purchase. I got two bottles of Dr. Teal's. Uh, I will be reviewing Dr. Teal's products. Um, they're doing buy one, get one 40% off. So I, I just did a small $10 purchase and used the free shipping there. Um, so yeah, um, I, I just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, sometimes this could happen again. There were people who complained on the website about their, about their receiving a bottle that did not look like the photo. There were people that complained about the shimmer. They did not want shimmer in their lotion. So yeah, that's it. It's kind of disappointing. But like I said in my previous videos, uh, and I think when I hauled this, it smells incredible. The uh, sponge sugar and vanilla bean is absolutely a great scent. And I do plan to continue to shop at Ulta because the prices are pretty good. They run some good sales, free shipping at $35 and uh, $3.50 off of 15. That's a really good deal. Um, so yeah, I'm going to continue to shop with Ulta, but I just was a little bit, um, it, it really opened my eyes to the difference in customer service between Ulta and Bath and Body Works. So I just wanted to point that out to you guys. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, remember to comment, rate, subscribe, Follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense, and I will see you all in a future video. But until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.